Where did modern science come from? We're usually told that modern science was invented in Europe sometime between 1500 and 1700. We're told it was the product of a small group of geniuses, European men. People like the Polish astronomer Nicolaus Copernicus, who first claimed that the Earth goes around the Sun. And the English mathematician Isaac Newton, who set out the laws of gravity. And then we're told that this story continued for the next 500 years. From Charles Darwin's evolutionary theory in the 19th century, to Albert Einstein's account of cosmic physics in the 20th century. Science, we're told, is a product of Europe alone. But this story is a myth. I'm James Poskett, Associate Professor in the History of Science and Technology at the University of Warwick. And in my new book, Horizons, I tell the story of the global origins of modern science. Modern science was not the product of a unique European culture. Rather, science has always depended upon bringing together ideas and people from around the world. When Copernicus was giving his new account of the solar system, he relied on mathematical techniques borrowed from Arabic and Persian texts. When Newton was setting out the laws of motion, he drew on astronomical observations made in Asia and West Africa. And when Charles Darwin was writing on the origin of species, he consulted a 16th century Chinese encyclopedia, even having a friend at the British Museum translate sections of it, which later appeared in his book. More than anything else, Horizons is a celebration of the work of scientists neglected by history. Amongst many others, we meet Sachendranath Bose, a Bengali physicist who corresponded and later collaborated with Albert Einstein himself. The two developed a new statistical account of quantum mechanics. Indeed, the boson of the Higgs boson particle is named after Bose. We also meet Zhao Zongyao, a Chinese physicist who worked in the middle of the 20th century and who discovered through his experimental work antimatter itself. But his American colleague ended up being awarded the Nobel Prize, despite later admitting that he had in fact been directly inspired by Zhao Zongyao's experiments. Today, scientists are quick to acknowledge the international nature of their work. But in Horizons, I show that this story goes back much further than we think.